The Ranaletti Award is named after one of the principals of Catholic Central who passed away, Father Rich Ranaletti. It was noted that we had all sorts of awards for athletics and academics, but we didn't have an award for Christian service and character. And so that award was founded with his name because a he was a good Christian character, a great priest, and so that is awarded to every student who achieves the most in terms of um, volunteerism, community service, and also again possesses a good Christian character. The recipient of this year's Ronaldetti Award was David Kibbe. I've known David for a while. His older brother graduated from here, and David was basically raised here as a kid. And uh, his philanthropy uh, just kind of grows naturally out of who he is. Kind, generous, wouldn't say a bad word about anybody. Uh, David was the highest nominee. Wholeheartedly, the uh, adult staff uh, validated that choice. David, David Kibbe was a wonderful, wonderful uh, choice on behalf of the students and faculty. David Kibbe, a most deserving award winner uh, of the Father Ranaletti Award. Um, didn't surprise me. Um, I will be honest with you, I probably expected it. Great young man, uh, amazing family, uh, amazing parents, grandparents, and uh, by the time he left here as an 18-year-old man, the things that he accomplished, uh, the impressions he made on his classmates, the impact he had on the community, pr profound. We're, we're very fortunate that David's been honored this way and that people have recognized the goodness in David and what he tries to espouse and the way he conducts his life every day. And again, we're honored that, again, that's been, you know, demonstrated, uh, again, recognized, and, and it's something that is not, you know, it's innate in David to be this way. And we're very fortunate to have him as a son and what he, how he demonstrates that. We're blessed and we don't take it lightly. Uh, he gave over 750 hours of service. Um, David was very instrumental in the, um, PBJ Outreach, which is reaching out to the disenfranchised. David was a, one of the uh, founding members of the Shamrock ID program, which is a program that was started for students who want to grow more deeply in their faith. Uh, Shamrock ID stands for Shamrock Intentional Disciples. I think that giving back is one of the fundamental parts of our Catholic faith. And I think it's a fundamental part of um, us as men uh, here on on earth and I found a passion for helping people and supporting people in challenging times and and you know I look to a lot of you know these very very successful people and I that I that I look up to right and a lot of the reasons that they are successful is because of their servitude to others and um, you know I, I feel very deeply that um, we're here to give uh, he's a force of nature uh, he's a, a statesman, he's the mayor of the town, he knows everybody, very comfortable in his own skin, uh, talking with his peers, he was on student government for a time, and also uh, speaking with adults and getting adults behind his ideas, some of which seem really big picture, but he makes it all come to fruition very quickly. He's a special young man, he really is, and um, one of the most special I've ever met coming through here. and, and uh, you know, he's uh, the drive he has, uh, the things I've experienced with his, his, his passion for cars and the level in which he accomplishes those things is quite amazing for somebody just 18 years old. He's a, a confident, able, ready individual that's going to just conquer the world when he goes on to his next step in college and, and beyond college. I think this whole preparation, this whole experience has been very solid for him. Philippians 4.13 has been super important to me. That's been a driving force my entire time at CC, a driving force to all my service stuff. So everybody out there and, and, and you know everybody here at CC embodies that. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. We have you know some of the best sports teams in the country. We have some of the best academic clubs in the country. We have some of the best faculty in the country and we have the best, you know, most amazing, diverse grouping of knowledge and uh, you know, in, in students here at CC. And I think that that just underlines um, all of that perfectly.